Okay, so you might be remembering that in the last lecture we had seen that is the volumetric strain of a rectangular bar subjected to a force. Uh, whatever we had seen that the force acting in only one direction, right? But now, if we see here uh, today, which we are going to see the three uh, mutually perpendicular forces are there. That is the force uh, which we are applying in the x direction force which we are applying in the y direction and the force which we are applying in the z direction. So in all these three directions we are applying the force. So in that case what is the volumetric strain right. So that we have to find out. Are you getting Lakshadade Sagarna? Hello. Okay. So last time we had seen that is force acting in one direction and today uh, we are going to see that the when the force are acting in all these three direction in that case how to find out the volumetric strain okay now so again uh, if you see volumetric strain if you have to find out here i will write so volumetric strain is equal to dv upon uh, v what is the dv that is the change in volume divided by the origin volume Right. In the similar way which we have uh, calculated in the last derivation, uh, we will find out the same. So the first, uh, that is the original volume that we have to find out. Okay. So now what we will do, we will consider here, right. So the distance in x, x that we can consider it as x, the distance in y, this is the y and this we will consider it as a z okay so the length in x direction of this the rectangular bar uh, that is x uh, width that is in y direction y and in the z direction that is the z okay so now if i want to find out the volume right so what is the volume length into breadth into height so length is x breadth is y and the depth or thickness is the z so therefore we will get the original volume v is equal to x into y into z so this is the original volume that i will get now what i will do i will take the log on both side when i take the log on both side then what you will get so the v log log v will get and as this is the multiplication and when you take the log you will get the addition right so therefore log v is equal to log x plus log y plus log z right what we did simply we took the log on both side of this equation whatever the original volume it is there okay now next what we will do we will differentiate this above equation right so whatever this equation is there so this i will consider the equation number two so we will differentiate above equation. So when you differentiate, you know, right? So log v dv upon v will get log x dx upon x you will get after differentiating, right? So the log y dy upon y plus log z dz upon z, this is the equation that you will get, okay? So after differentiating, so what we did, just keep in mind, once again, I'll repeat. First, we took the volume of the bar rectangular bar then what we did we took log on both side of this equation number one and then we are differentiating okay now you know already what we are expecting so this volumetric strain now whatever this equation you get here dv upon v that is a change in volume to the original volume so that is the volumetric strain right so that we can write it as a ev right so dv upon v is equal to change in volume to the original volume that is the volumetric strain now similarly can you say what is the dx upon x right so change in length in x direction so x is there it is change in length so dx upon x can we say it is a strain in x direction right so now see similarly here we will get so dx upon x is change in dimension in x direction and original dimension that is the x so that is we can say strain in x direction we will call it as a ex e to the base x that is the strain in x direction so e to the base v that is the volumetric strain so similarly i will get 
dy upon y what it is that is the change in direction that is in y direction and the original dimension in the y so that is the strain in y direction similarly you will get dz upon z that is change in dimension in z direction divided by original dimension in z so therefore strain in z direction so all these three whatever we got dx upon x dy upon y and dz upon z what it indicates this indicates strain in x direction this indicates strain in y direction and this indicates strain in z direction so therefore i will write instead of this dv upon v is equal to this i will write strain in x direction that is the ex this i will write strain in y direction ey and dz upon z i will write it as a ez right so from this equation what you will get suppose if i write this as a equation number 3 so what you can say if i want to find out the volumetric strain so change in volume upon original volume what i have to do i have to find out strain in x direction strain in y direction and strain in z direction and then if i add all these three then i will get the volumetric strain he lakshya dete ka sagana okay now see here so now here see carefully here we are applying the load in all three direction that is in x direction y direction and in the z direction okay now see so we know that just now i said strain in x direction means uh, sigma x upon e okay ex is equal to sigma upon e that stress is directly proportional to the strain and proportional constant so that we rearrange it okay now see if i apply the load in x direction that is a px okay so the first i will apply the load in x direction now again you can remember previous thing when i apply the load in x direction in x direction i will get sigma x upon e barabar hai ka right what about in y and z direction minus mu sigma x upon e म्हणजे x मध्ये लोड अप्लाई केला म्हणून हे इन्क्रीज झाला पण y आणि z मध्ये डायमेंशन डिक्रीज झाले म्हणून मायनस म्यू सिग्मा x अपॉन e ते आपण बघितलं होतं बघा म्यू इज इक्वल टू लॅटरल अपॉन लिनियर मग ते कन्वर्ट केलं होतं मागचं डायरेक्शन तो लक्षात येईल राईट सो इन y डायरेक्शन मायनस म्यू सिग्मा x अपॉन e सिमिलरली इन z डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो मायनस म्यू सिग्मा x अपॉन e सो दिस इज व्हाट द स्ट्रेन इन x डायरेक्शन y डायरेक्शन एंड z डायरेक्शन ड्यू टू the application of the load in x direction lakshya dete ka baga hello okay now just now we had seen one now what we will do we will apply the load in y direction shall we apply yes so now we will apply the load in y direction so load in y direction now what will happen due to the application of the load in y direction you will get sigma y upon e as it is so sigma y upon e this is the increase in length karan y madhe apan load apply kele mula y direction me to kay hote increase hoto to sigma y upon e apan lete barabar hai ka right and due to the application of the load in y in x and z there will be decrease so therefore in x you will get minus mu sigma y upon e that is the load applied in y direction manun ita sigma y litoy previous case madhe sagli kade x lela kasha mula tar apan load apply kela hota hai x direction madhe and tacha mula corresponding strain develop jhalela in y and z direction manun apan pratyek thikani x lela hota now here due to application of the load in y direction in y direction sigma y upon e that is increase in length that is the strain you will get and minus mu sigma y upon e in x direction that is decrease in dimension and similarly minus mu sigma y upon e that is decrease in dimension that is the strain okay so in the z and in x direction due to the application of the load in y direction now in the third case we will apply the load in z direction now what happen when we apply the load in z direction there will be increase in dimension in z and decrease in dimension in x and the y right so due to the application of the load in z direction what you will get sigma z upon e 
and other two direction minus mu sigma z upon e in y direction and minus mu sigma z upon e in x direction all of you got what we did when we apply the load in s direction what happened when we apply the load in y direction what happened and when we apply the load in z what happened now whatever the derivation we had started that is the same thing right so the three forces which are mutually perpendicular acting on the rectangular bar now this is the condition now for this we have to find out the volumetric strain he lakshat ala ka separate me he karun dakhavla he kutai book madhe nahi hai lakshat jata hai okay now what i have to do i have to find out net tensile stress in x direction now see uh, the equation what it is the dv upon v if i have to find out strain in x direction strain in y direction plus strain in z direction so net stress in x direction net stress in y, uh, strain in y and net strain in z direction if i find and if i add then i will get the volumetric strain now see the first net tensile strain in x direction right so see here here are the three different strain one sigma x upon e that is the load applied in x direction that is a tensile okay second minus mu sigma y upon e that is the strain that is a compressive due to the force y which we applied in y direction so therefore minus sigma uh, mu sigma y upon e and this is the third minus mu sigma z upon e that is the load applied in z direction so i have to add all these three right then i will get the net tensile strain in x direction okay so i will do the addition net stress tensile strain in x direction is equal to sigma x upon e minus mu sigma y upon e minus mu sigma z upon e okay so now what i will do mu here is the common that i will take common so sigma x upon e minus mu in bracket sigma y minus sigma z upon e denominator is again common so therefore i will write this equation so strain in x direction is equal to sigma x upon e minus mu in bracket sigma y plus sigma z upon e so this is what the net tensile strain in okay so now we'll start so we had seen that uh, what is the net tensile strain in x direction right so that is the ex is equal to sigma x upon e minus mu sigma y plus sigma z upon e that is the net tensile strain in x direction you will get similarly uh, we can find out that is in y direction right so whatever the addition we did uh, like this all this in y direction all these forces in uh, z direction uh, then we will get okay so here we will get the net tensile strain in y direction that is sigma y upon e minus mu sigma x plus sigma z upon e this is the one you will get and similarly uh, the net tensile strain in z direction right sigma z upon e minus mu sigma x plus sigma y upon e right so just see carefully that is when we apply the load in x direction the first sigma x upon e and minus mu remaining two that is y and z it is very easy to remember then net tensile strain in y direction is equal to sigma y upon e minus mu again x and z y, uh, load applied in y direction right so net tensile strain in z direction that is sigma z upon e minus mu remaining sigma x plus sigma y upon e so in this way uh, you can remember this right so now so just now we had seen that if i have to find out the uh, volumetric strain dv upon v is equal to i have to calculate net tensile strain in x direction net strain in y direction and net strain in z direction right so here we calculated all this ex ey and ez now what we will do we will put all these value in this equation right so whatever the third equation is there in that equation we will put all the strain value right after putting this you will get what it is dv upon v is equal to ex right so this one sigma x upon e minus mu in bracket sigma y plus sigma z upon e so this ex plus ey and this is the ez right so we kept all these three value now we'll see here 
right what it is sigma x upon e and again sigma y upon e and here now see here sigma x upon e sigma y upon e and sigma z upon e right the denominator is same right so what i will do i will take it outside sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z upon e that i will get okay so here you will get 1 upon e so the same thing i have written here 1 upon e sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z now see minus mu sigma y right and sigma z upon e sigma y here is 1 and again sigma y here is 1 so twice minus mu sigma y then sigma z sigma z then again twice mu sigma z right and sigma x and sigma x twice mu sigma x so therefore i will take outside minus twice mu upon e in bracket you will get sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z so again this sigma x plus sigma y plus z and this it is common so this i will take outside so therefore what i will get sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z in bracket 1 minus 2 mu if i take e outside right 1 upon e this e is common outside and this i have taken common sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z in bracket 1 minus twice mu so this is the equation you will get that is the volumetric strain in the uh, bar which is subjected the forces in all three direction now see again here in the previous case also we have found out volumetric strain is equal to can anyone say what we did sigma x upon e in bracket 1 minus twice mu that is when force applied in one direction is it right equation asa sotaka Yes, now see here the volumetric strain when the load applied in three direction right so sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z 1 upon e whatever it is there so here i will take it as a e and in bracket 1 minus twice mu now see here simple thing the same above equation is there even you can use this equation only right when we apply the load in one direction or in two direction and uh, all three direction right so i will say if the load applied in all these three direction then stress in x stress in y and stress in z that you have to add divide by e and in bracket 1 minus 2 mu then you will get volumetric strain when the load applied in all the three direction suppose if load applied in only two direction either it is x y or z suppose we will take in x and y and in the z the stress is zero load applied is zero means stress applied in z direction is zero so this becomes zero and then you have to put sigma x plus sigma y upon e and in bracket one minus two mu and if you apply the load in only one direction that is x then again it cancels the low stress in x direction applied so sigma x upon e this above equation you will get <laughs>